to you, I'm getting shipped off to an all-girls school in Massachusetts. I thought leaving Chicago meant Lark would be out of my life. What did Lark do to her? Sun, sand, hot guy? That doesn't feel like a, much of a punishment. This isn't about fun, Gabriella. You're here to pay your debt to society. Unfortunately, this is a shock for girls with taste. They're so mean! The fans are already buzzing. They love our mystery woman. <laughs> I guess I'm just not used to people paying this much attention to me. How do you guys handle it? I'm getting the vibe that you left Chicago for a reason. I don't know what happened, but things are pretty rough before we moved to LA too. For some reason as we grew up, People would just hate on us. Thanks to you, we have a ton of new Chicago fans. One of them said they even went to your old high school. <gasps> that has to be Lark. Hey guys, it's Gabriella. Welcome back to another episode of the Dolan Twins. If you haven't seen the other episodes I've done of the series, they're in the playlist right there. Click on it and you can go check them out. All right, I have no idea what's going to happen because Gabriella has her first day of community service and it's insane. But before we jump into everything, if you're not following me on Twitter, you should be for Kids Gaming, Gabriella Scory. You can also follow both of those on Instagram and you can follow me on Snapchat. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, I forgot that like Lark had texted her. I thought leaving Chicago meant Lark would be out of my life. What did Lark do to her? Guess I was wrong. Thanks to you, I'm getting shipped off to an all-girls school in Massachusetts. Went online to buy a lifetime's worth of knee socks and lacrosse sticks, and who do I see living it up in LA? Sun, sand, hot guys? That doesn't feel like a much of a punishment. So I'll have to find a way to make you actually pay for what you did. XOXO, bestie. <gasps> oh my gosh! What the heck? Okay, Gabriella, breathe. What can Lark do from all the way across the country? She couldn't figure out a way to get to LA, right? Right? What did Lark do to her? She's being cyberbullied. This is ridiculous. As community service is ending, but like, what did Lark do? Because like, she said that she was betrayed by her best friend. So did Lark betray Gabriella and Gabriella turned Lark in? So now Lark hates Gabriella? I don't know. As community service is ending, what was my community service? You worked hard today, Gabriella. I hope you can keep it up. You have a lot of hours to get in before the benefit dance. What? I totally will. Trust me. I don't want to mess this up. So how was your first day? It was okay. It sucked. I'm happy to be here. I mean, it was okay. I've definitely had more fun in my life, but it was okay. This isn't about fun, Gabriella. Yeah, that's... I didn't... <laughs> You're here to pay your debt to society. You're right, I'm sorry. I'm just having a crappy day. But thanks for showing me the ropes. I hope the dance raises a ton of money. It's a super important cause. Yes, it is. But it looks like it means more than that to you. Let's just say that I'm intimately acquainted with bullying. But I'm trying to leave all that back in Chicago and focus on today. LA is about a fresh start. So it's like our community service, like putting on a like charity event for bullying. A new me and definitely all new friends. Well, I'm here if you ever want to spill, Gabriella. Aw, oh, that just seems nice. That's enough for one day. Want to get out of here? Not Lark again! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's Grayson. <laughs> when you're done, meet us at our apartment. We're ready to take you on the Dolan Twins guided tour. Gabriella, who's texting you? Oh, none of your business. Oh, you look like you won the lottery. Okay, she's being nice. I was like, excuse you! He doesn't mean that! <laughs> Excuse you, it doesn't matter who I'm texting. But she's being kind. It's these twins I met on my first day here. They want to show me around the city to help me settle in. That sounds really sweet. If LA is about fresh start and new friends, they sound like the kind of new friends you should be making. They are really sweet. I'll drop you off on my way home. Actually, could you do me a huge favor and drop me off at the store? I've been working in this all day and it's kind of funky. I know a great place. Sasha's really nice, like for like, I mean, she's not like her parole officer, but like, she's just a really nice start. <sighs> what is that look? Am I stressed? What's happening? Oh, thumb. Oh, that look, I would give that look too. I can't believe the new girl is showing her face after last night. Your twin mix up is all anyone's talking about. At least you're trying to improve your look. What's the occasion, Chicago? Do I really want them to know? Don't mention Ethan and Grayson. Tell them you're seeing the twins. Don't even bother with them. No occasion, just updating my wardrobe. Oh, please. Your poker face is about as good as your eyesight. Ah! Think whatever you want. I just felt like a new look. Well, you definitely have the right idea coming here then. Unfortunately, this is a shop for girls with taste. They're so mean. You must have confused for a flea market. Not the first time you couldn't tell the two things apart. You're right. I can't tell you two apart either. 
You're equally irritating. <gasps> oh snap. You better be careful, Chicago. You might have the Dolan twins fooled, but you don't fool us. We know you're not as sweet and helpless as you look, and we'll find a way to make sure the boys know it too. Later. They're so rude. Gabriella's just getting bullied left and right. I feel so bad for her. What are you looking for today? Well, I'm going on a tour of LA. I just moved here. Got it. So something comfortable for walking and totally you. Plus, it's with these two awesome guys I really like, the Dolan twins. Why is she like, why would you even mention that? Oh, I watch their videos every Tuesday. They have great style. Okay, let me just get to the point. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What is the other one? No, I like, oh, I like the shoes though. Okay, no, I like this. Comfy and casual. Cute. This is comfy. Yes. Now you're definitely ready for your tour. I love to dress people with such a great sense of style. Call anytime I can help. <gasps> so nice! Unlike Brie and Summer, who are the rudest people in the whole entire world. Come on, we have a schedule to keep. For the first stop on the Dolan Twin Guide LA tour? Actually, we're leaving it up to you. We both picked our favorite spots. And one last place that's really special to the both of us. I love it, what are my choices? I picked the Grove. It's a huge outdoor mall. They have a great bookstore. I thought since you write, you might be into it. Ah, that sounds perfect. And maybe we can grab lunch? Yeah, we can get a slice. It'll be the first stop on the never-ending tour of Grayson's favorite pizza places in LA. And I picked the world's famous Griffith Park. There's an observatory and has a ton of hiking trails. We go there all the time. And then there's our last stop, but that's a secret for now. Ooh, very mysterious. So, where do you want to go first, Gabriella? Let's go to the Grove. I could go for some pizza. You'll love it. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. <gasps> Aw, this is so cute. Ooh, the Grove. <laughs> they have everything. This place is awesome. I know, right? We haven't even gotten to the speed eating chili challenge. Ew, the what? What do you think, bro? Can you handle it? For sure. The challenge is simple. So you can eat an entire chili pepper first without taking a drink. Or starting to cry. In that case, count me in. No way. I mean, I might as well. YOLO, Gabriella, be adventurous. I can take the heat. I'm in. Are you sure? These peppers are supposedly 10 times hotter than jalapenos. Or is it 100 times? <gasps> Bring it. I'm ready to feel the burn. All right. Okay, everyone have a pepper on their slice? Ready? Go. <laughs> Oh, so it's on the pizza. That doesn't make it as- I thought there's like straight up eating it. Ow. Ugh. What's the matter, guys? How can you be sweating on a 70 degree day? I'm gonna cry. I need a tissue. Get the matter, tish! Don't try this at home, kids. How are you not dying? Bow down before me. I am invincible. <laughs> oh, now I'm dying. Waiter! Can I have like a gallon? Oh, fun times. Now are we hiking? Oh no, we're still at the Grove. At the Grove again! Oh wow, that dress! That dress is so beautiful! It's awesome! You would wear it even better than the mannequin. Seriously, let's go get that mannequin naked. I mean, are you gonna get it? Why? I wouldn't have anywhere to go in a dress like that. I don't see many special occasions in my future. By which I mean it wouldn't be quite the right look for community service. Well, when you're a famous writer, there'll be all kinds of special occasions. By the way, you better thank us at your noble speech. I'll have to actually finish something before that happens. I haven't written a word since, um, since I moved here. I can tell you what we do when we're blocked on something. Yeah, I hope you're ready for a hike. Oh, this is such a fun episode. There's like not like a whole lot of like unnecessary drama, just us enjoying the peace. We found some awesome secret trails here. I can't believe there's a deserted zoo! It's so cool, in kind of a seriously spooky kind of way. Who says it's deserted? Grrr! You join us at feeding time at the zoo. What we have here is Ethanus Dolanus, the only one left in existence and said to be extremely dangerous. I can vouch for that, especially first thing in the morning. <sighs> Talk about your morning breath, dude. Activate extra savage Ethan mode. Roar! It sounds hungry, I'd better feed it. Uh, don't share. Posted. How do we look? The fans are already buzzing. They love our mystery woman. <laughs> don't be Lark! What's up? Oh my gosh! 
just saw Grayson's pic of you and Ethan? Thanks to the Dolan twins, you've gone from infamous to famous. Do they know why you're actually in LA? Maybe I'll fill them in, dot, dot, dot. XOXO bestie. <gasps> oh my gosh! Who's Lark? Oh my gosh, I don't want them to know too much about Lark. Tell the twins a little about her. Lie about her. I mean, I feel like it's gonna like come back to us, so we might as well like try to be as honest as we can. She's my best friend from my old school. Uh, sounds like she's like your ex-best friend. She kind of loves to embarrass me. What do you have to be embarrassed about? I guess I'm just not used to people paying this much attention to me. How do you guys handle it? You actually just gave us a perfect setup for our last spot. Should we take her to our spot, Gray? The spot? I think she's ready. But remember, Gray, we have something we have to do tonight. So we can take her up there, and one of us can stay and watch the sunset with her. Totally. She can choose who stays. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you prepared to enter the Dolan Twins' inner sanctum? We don't just take anyone up there, you know. We haven't ever taken anyone up there, actually. So this is like a world exclusive. Go with you guys to your special sunset spot. Oh! But like I don't want to spend my gems on that because I feel like there's gonna be something like I'm, I'm willing to spend gems on this one But like I feel like in the future there's gonna be something that's like way 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 more important than going to like a sunset spot like Versus like me telling them the truth or her hearing it from Lark or something. I don't know So I guess maybe some other time I'd love to see that sometimes, but my stomach's already growling You said the magic words. I'll walk you back and take you to my second favorite sunset watching spot. Where's that? It's this really special place I call wherever I'm snacking when the sun sets. I think I'm gonna love it there. Awesome. See you later, bro. <gasps> why does I have why am I going with Grace instead of Ethan? I'm already starting the drama. <sighs> oh guys! Gabriella, I know it might not seem like it, but I think we know a little about how you might be feeling. What do you mean? You couldn't possibly. Now what does he mean? What do you mean? Well, I'm getting the vibe that you left Chicago for a reason. I don't know what happened, but things are pretty rough before we moved to LA too. Why? Everyone loves you. Will you tell me the story? We know we don't talk about it because we're just a bunch of goofballs, but pretty much Ethan and I, ever since we were kids, we're always kind of different. The best kind of different. There was me and Ethan and there was everyone else. We're each other's best friends, and often each other's only friends. Yeah, I know that feeling. It happened all the time. For some reason, as we grew up, people would just hate on us. No one wanted to have anything to do with us. We were getting bullied. I'm so sorry, Grayson. I know exactly what that's like. It's awful. But it brought us here. You learned to gravitate towards people who support you, who care. The fans are like our second family now. You guys make them so happy. You should be proud. I hope you keep working with us on videos, Gabriella. You're so good in them, and we can definitely see your artistic touch. Should I risk it now that Lark's watching me? Better not. It's worth the risk. I mean, YOLO. Lark already knows where I am. Of course. Now that I know more about why you make them, I'm even more excited to be involved. I'm so glad. Well, we should get back. I'm glad I could share my ultra-exclusive sunset spot with you. Aww. So in like the other episodes where I get like a one on one with like Ethan, it's like The Bachelor, I get my one on one time and then I have to pick. Did you fix up my whole room? I can't believe it. Okay, that's a little creepy. <laughs> that was your secret one man mission? You like completely unpacked all our boxes? We promised we'd get it done, didn't we? Your grandma let me in and helped me figure out where some of the stuff should go. Aww, that's so cute! Okay. And I might have eaten like 10 more cookies. We just wanted to help make LA feel like home. Yeah, so you'll stick around for a while. Oh, they're like the cutest things ever. You even got all my posters up. Is that a poster of me? Oh, great. Now it's like Lark's haunting me. Why did she bring a giant poster of Lark? Is that your friend who texted earlier? You must be really close. You'll have to tell us more about her. Believe me, that's the last thing I'd want. <gasps> oh my gosh, the Buried in the Sand video just got 500,000 views. Oh my goodness, this is huge. You know what this means? 
It's time to take our video to the next level. Yeah, what can we do? Let's see, special effects, monster makeup? You guys don't need all that. If there's one thing I've learned from my own writing, it's that you just need a great story. Like, what kind of story? Well, everyone loves a romance. Romance, I like the sound of that. But you need more than that. You need to have conflict to spice things up. Romance is spicy enough for us already. Yeah, it's like a jalapeno spicy. But I love the idea of adding more stories to our videos. It's brilliant. Where's that noble? Are you gonna let me take you out to breakfast tomorrow to thank you? Thank me for what? Because thanks to you, we have a ton of new Chicago fans. One of them said they even went to your old high school. <gasps> she had a really cute username, Songbird. Ah! Songbird? That has to be Lark. What's her next move? Oh my gosh! Okay, you guys, things are getting crazy! Oh, Lark is like out to get me, and that's terrifying. Oh. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you do not miss a thing. If you want to check out the other episode series, go click on the playlist and go watch them. The Pretty Little Liars, Emerald, Glamander Heights, so great. And I will see you guys next time.